we're just waiting for the news to finish up on CHMR and then we'll get started on the Mulberry Creek Hour. So, mm. welcome to another Tuesday. I don't like this screen. I think that's a sneeze guard, like at a buffet. Which means a lot of people have already sneezed on it. <laughs> Not my fave. I'm dancing like this music playing, but it's just a news show. Do the careful one. In local arts and entertainment news, May Are we in the news? Is not Why would we be in the news? I don't know. You never know. Small place. Something about Palestinians. No, it's local art. Cool. All right, we got a big show coming up tonight, today, this afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. 35 seconds, guys. We're really excited. 35 seconds. My parents are listening. Don't ask why. Josh told them about the show, told them how to get there on the internet, and Dad said, I'll listen to that. So, no pressure. 15 seconds. He, he could have been listening every week, I don't know. That's true. Go live on the air now. He was just being cool. Keep him creeping the whole time. Well, anyway, when you were happy to hear mom and dad listening. Fantastic. Thanks, Daisy. Ready? Welcome to the Mulberry Creek Hour. It is five o'clock on Tuesday evening. It's, it's five o five because we just listened to the news. Don't forget. That's not the correct time. Don't go by it's that. Five if ish. If you're on your way somewhere and you had to be there by five o'clock, you're late. You're late. <laughs> you're late. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm Vicky Morgan, joined by my partner, producer, uh, bandmate, homeschool partner, all those things. Say hey, Josh. Hola. <laughs> He's mixing it up, isn't he? <laughs> so adventurous. We got a fantastic show. Things are crazy. Up. They are. Uh, we got a really great show this week. Uh, we've got a fantastic guest coming in in just a few minutes. Evelyn Jess has a brand new CD coming out, so she's going to come in and play us a couple of tunes here in the studio. And as always, I just want to remind you out there in FM Radio Land that we are broadcasting live on Facebook. So if you are listening to our voices and thinking, "Man, they must be good looking," you can go you're going to be on to the Mulberry Creek. Well, not, Hour. you're going to be half disappointed. Because <laughs> Josh is gorgeous. You're going anyway. to go onto the Mulberry <laughs> Creek Hour uh, on Facebook, and you can see us broadcasting live every week. And uh, there's a visual component occasionally. Like last week, we did have uh, a studio full of puppets. Workshop. It was not very radio friendly, but it was great for hey, the video. It was a fantastic time. It and was the puppets, fun, yeah. it, as, far as, as far as the listeners knew, there was just five or six people in the studio. <laughs> yeah, so there was different well, a bunch voices, of different silly voices. A lot of different personalities, yeah. that's for sure. So, yeah. So, we're really excited about today. Uh, there is not a, generally, I don't think there's a visual component. However, uh, when the songs are playing on the radio, uh, we do not play those on the Facebook Live feed because Facebook does not pay SoCan fees. So we usually have a bunch of behind the scenes shenanigans that we get up to, and that's usually fun. And so today we do have an opportunity to get a free CD. We do have a brand new EP out from Mulberry Creek, and there will be an opportunity to um, get your name in for a free one. We're gonna ask a question. We're gonna ask a question at the end of the show, and uh, you can get in touch with us on social media, from uh, Facebook, TikTok or Instagram. And I think it's all the same on all of them, right? Mulberry Creek Music? Mulberry Creek Music. The only difference is on TikTok, it's mulberry.creek.music. But all the other ones are just Mulberry Creek Music. Yeah. So we're going to ask a question so at the end of the show. we just want to make it confusing. And Josh, is, as my producer, is going to remind me to do that because I wrote it down, but, you know, I'm going to need to be reminded because I'm just, you know, letting the thing, letting, I'm just channeling here. I'm just telling what, what's, what, just Jesus, let it happen. what Jesus is laying on my heart to say. Just enjoy the journey. <laughs> So at the end of the show, we are going to ask a question, and then you can, uh, if you'd like to have a free copy of the new EP, uh, you can answer the question, send us a message through social media, and we will get that out to you for the low, low price of like a buck for a stamp. You no, can mail it anywhere. Yeah, we. we oh, we'll, you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. It. We'll pay for the stamp. We'll pay for the stamp. Yeah. That's, not, that's <laughs> a write off. Let's play, let's play some. That'll music. be a write off at the end of the year. That's a, what do you? Stamp what off. do you write off? I don't know, Jerry. It's just a write off. It's just a write off. <laughs> That moment from Seinfeld. Okay, so I do have this this past couple of weeks, uh, we have been watching all the Star Wars movies. Now, I am, of course, in my mid 40s, and I thought I had seen all the Star Wars movies, but that's not accurate. Because there's like 40 of them. Well, also, I slept. 
for most of the Star Wars movies because that man, there's something about John Williams, the stuff, the music in the in the movies that just knocks me out. It's so relaxing and comfortable. Probably because I've I thought I had seen the movies hundreds of times. Plus, when we were feral kids in the '80s, we'd spend a whole day running around the neighborhood, then get back to watch a movie. There's no no staying awake for that. So the point of all that rambling is that uh, we have been watching the Star Wars. I'm gonna. I, it used to be the Star Wars trilogy back in my day, but of course it's, it's a trilogy of trilogies now. It's a whole whack of movies, and then there's like we've been watching the Mandalorian. We've been watching um, Boba Fett. I had never liked Boba Fett, and back in back in the day, my older brother had all the uh, action figures, not dolls, action figures. And there was one moment where uh, I may have been in a half day kindergarten and uh, got really scared by Boba Fett and Hammerhead and I think Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> and they may have ended up joining the dark side in the garbage earlier than they expected that day. And so when my brother came home, he was like, where are my action figures? And I just sat there and thought I could tell him via telekinesis or something. Cause I had to With watch the Force. Because I watched some of the movies. But anyway, uh, those made an untimely death because they scared me when I was five years old. Anyway, now that I'm an adult... We like Boba Fett now. It really went against my grain to watch Boba Fett because... <laughs> and Mandalorian was like his... Well, I don't want to give it away, but the Mandalorian is Boba Fett's son. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We might isn't need to he? watch him again. Isn't he? I don't think you picked up on all of the... Isn't he? Don't, don't go spread... Oh, no, he helped... Okay, so he worked with Boba Fett. Don't so go spreading son. lies on the radio. Wait, now, who was the clone guy? Who did they make the clones out of? Anyway, let's See? play a song. So I might need to watch him again. The point <laughs> is, there's a character in the third trilogy, which is actually the beginning trilogy. The newest movies. Oh, the newest movies. I don't know. The, the sequels, we call them. Refer to Wikipedia when you're watching them if you want to watch them in order. It does have, a, there's no inconsistencies that I've found, and I'm living with the biggest nerd on the planet. And he hasn't said anything like, oh, they mentioned this in the first episode, and they didn't. It really is a consistent <laughs> story. There's a character in some of the movies. His name is Poe. And, of course, you might know him as Oscar Isaac. Now, that's how I knew him, because, and I'm going to share something with you now in a couple of minutes. I don't know if people are aware of this, but Oscar Isaacs wrote a song with Alan Doyle. And Alan Doyle lives in Newfoundland. Sure, we love him. We love him. I, I don't know if people understand how lucky we are to live in a province. Now, this is, of course, if you're listening here in Newfoundland. If you live away, and I'm really sorry. Sorry. You probably won't run into Alan Doyle while he's out walking his dog or whatever, you know, because he lives in this, he lives in Newfoundland. So once upon a time, some once in a while, you'll see him around town, and it's just the greatest thing ever. This song is from Oscar Isaacs, who of course is Poe, has a massive storyline in Star Wars in whatever movies. What are they called? We call them. We call them New Han. Well, there's Force Awakens. Uh, what are the other three? There's the three. Last, the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. Force Awakens. Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. That's the new ones. Yeah, and Poe was in all three of those. Poe was right? in those. So I'm watching these movies, going, hold on a second, and I I thought he was going to die five minutes into the very first movie. He didn't. It was a trick. It was a trick. I shouldn't. I'm sorry if you haven't seen the movies. You're not going to watch them. <laughs> Spoiler if you're, alert. If you're listening to a cool show like Mulberry Creek Hour, you're probably not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you're probably not watching. Anyway, we've really enjoyed the movies, but I just wanted to share this, that this song was written by Alan Doyle and Oscar Isaacs, and I'm using the copy of it that is on YouTube, um, because I, I don't know that the recorded versions have Alan on there, but I just wanted to share that, in case you didn't know, how lucky we are to be in a province where Alan Doyle resides, and he did this thing with this guy from Star Wars. These stories are not related to each other at all. This was long before Star Wars. But anyway, what a beautiful song. This is called Never Had, and it was in a movie called um, Ten Years. Absolutely beautiful movie. Tear the guts out of you. But this song, um, go check out the YouTube story, because Oscar Isaacs in this video talks about how the song came to be and how he ended up writing the song with Alan Doyle, which is like the greatest, uh, I would imagine, the greatest experience anyone could ever ask for. So this is called Never Had, and it's Oscar Isaac. Isaac or Isaacs? Isaacs. Isaacs with an S. And, More uh, than one, Isaac. And uh, our local boy, Alan Dwell. That's lovely. Uh, hello, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Who's watching? I wish you could see this video. Oh, somebody's here. It's good timing. Evelyn is here. So we are. What are you doing? I'm going to do a quick sound when we come back. She's not coming in yet, right? Mm -hmm. That's Poe. That's Poe from Star Wars. Crazy. So we're going to have Evelyn join us in just a couple minutes. And right now on the radio show on chmr.ca and Radio Canada Player. I think that's Radio Player, Radio Canada. One of those. Um, you can see it all. And of course on Alliant 
787. Did you give my parents the right station? They're going to the website. They're on the website. He's uh, on the computer. They're on the website, so they're not watching Facebook Live. But uh, because my parents actually dads on Facebook. Scary stuff. We should get dads on. We should get dad to listen on Facebook so we can see the live. And uh, we should have dad come in. Dad's a songwriter. That's true. We should have dad come in and play. He'd uh, love to be on the radio. He would love it, and he the Facebook Live I think would blow his mind all together. So maybe when I come back uh, last day to be on the radio, um, I'll live on the air. And he'll be like, call, I'll say, call in right now. I don't know the number. He knows my number, though, more importantly. He could just call me. <laughs> okay, I'm here. So we had a little bit of a kerfuffle when we got here today. Because, oh, you can hear the music. I'm jamming over here. Yeah, well, I'm not playing it on the system. Not, yeah, the future. Um, we got here. Our IDs didn't work. So we had to run to the um, bookstore. And the bookstore was like, I, we sell books. What are you doing here? Go to security. <laughs> And they were like, just go to the facilities management office over by the school of music. We're at C we're in the Thompson, we're in the student center. And I was like, are you serious? Like in this age of digital uh, technology? Ironically, what? so I, it is ironic that you say that because they ended up digitally remotely. remotely. I called the security office on the phone and he goes, you standing in front of the door? I said, yep. And he goes, bloop, 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 bloop. It's open now. And I back just opened in, the door. Back in the day when I was a Mon student, many, many years ago, I would have ran across campus to do exactly what the grown-up told me to do. But now that I'm much older than all the people that I dealt with today, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Run across campus to get a digital thing done. And I bitched enough. And what really happened behind the scenes was that Josh was downstairs talking to Rhea, who dealt with all of it uh, like a couple of human uh, <laughs> gentle people. <laughs> who were civilized. I was very nice over at the bookstore and Nadia went above and beyond and she was making all kinds of calls. Point is, we got in the building, we were able to do a show, but I'm still a little bit flustered from all of that, so I'm landing. I'm going to do um, PSAs when we come back to the song. Okay, and then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to play a song and Evelyn's here. She loves this song. I wish I could hear it. What an experience. Okay, universe. I know I'm no Oscar Isaacs, but man, oh man, if I could write a song with Alan Doyle, my life would be complete. That's a fact. So I'll fade out. I don't know what I'd do after that. The next day, I'd be like, "That's it. I guess I'm done. <laughs> I check out." <laughs> just like Luke, just like Luke was just like home, and then boom, disappeared. Very lackluster. Spoiler alert. Well, I'm very. Jeez. Who's who's what? I'm telling you, the market, the, the audience we have for Mulder Creek are super cool. Probably not watching Star Wars movies, Josh Morgan. We are the biggest nerds that I know. Okay, I'm fading the song out. Is it over? How gorgeous is that? Applause. Oscar Isaacs and Alan Doyle. Okay. Okay, I'm going to PSA. Let's bring it back in. Oh. Is this Hinterland? Mm -hmm. Who remembers Hinterland? Not me. Who's who? Um, was old, um, yeah, I think that's Hinterland. It is, Hinterland. Man, that's a nostalgic sound. Does anyone remember the Hinterland commercials on TV? I don't. They came on a lot, and it was, this I'm music was, ooh, it was just like the chirpy stuff in the background. Okay, 20 seconds. What are we going to do when we come back? Oh, I'm going to talk. 10 seconds. And then I'm going to play Loser Anthem. Oh boy, it's a good <clears throat> Is that okay? Oh yeah, five seconds. I'll move this down when you're ready to do it. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back to the Mulberry Creek Hour. That was Never Had by Oscar Isaacs and Alan Doyle. And um, we were just talking here on the break during, of course, we can see this on the Facebook Live, but we were just talking about how I believe my parents are listening up in Taurus Cove this evening. So shout out to mom and dad. Uh, and we were talking about my dad being a songwriter. Um, dad wrote songs many, many years ago. He used to play with the Rogues, of course, when I was, um, you know, embryo. And uh, wrote songs. I didn't realize that, but he had written songs back then in the 70s. And also, he's written a bunch of songs since then. So, Dad, if you're listening, buddy, if you'd like to come into the studio one of these days, we have musical guests come in every week and uh, songwriters, and we talk about the process and how they wrote the songs and how they were inspired and you know, what they were thinking about when they wrote, and then they play the songs here in the studio. And so if you'd like to come in sometime, Dad, buddy, if you're listening. This is a test. We'll find out if they're actually tuning in. <laughs> if you're listening, come yeah, on. Listening. Show so, and I was going to say call the station, but you can just call me. Let me know if you'd like to come in. Because that'd be great. <laughs> How fun would that be to have Dad in, uh, into the studio? That would be fun. That'd be awesome. So we've got Evelyn Jess coming up in just a few minutes. And I thought, 
I want to share this song because, first of all, it's on the new EP, and if you'd like a free copy of that, stick around to the end of the show. We'll have a question that you can answer through social media. Just send us a message, and uh, you can you have an opportunity to have a free copy of the CD if you'd like to have one. Uh, so this song, I actually, the riff is from a song that I really like from Great Big Sea, which was written by Alan Doyle. And uh, it's really funny to see people request this, because um, he's like, oh, I can't believe people like this. But I was like, are you serious? This is the theme of my, this is the theme song of my 20s. So I, I did completely rip off the riff from um, Fast As I Can. I did put the capo on, which is an augmenting tool that puts it in a different key. So it's a different key, so nobody will know. It's a different key. But you know what's really cool, too? I noticed on my guitar the other day, I'm starting to wear down some, um, there's a few, few spots lined down the neck of my guitar that are starting to wear down because I play it so often, and that is the mark of And And the cool part is it's, it's getting worn down up around the, the wheedly wheedly lead area. Deedly deedly deed, deed, deed. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I don't know if you recognize the lead or not. It's a higher it's a higher key, but I, uh, I owe this one to Alan. Because I was sitting here goofing around, and this song came from a TV show that uh, was slated. It was the very first contract I ever had for a TV show, and uh, it was called, it doesn't matter, it wasn't called. It, doesn't it wasn't matter. called. It doesn't matter. But the show um, was comically called "How to Fail a Documentary Filmmaking," and then it failed. Which is, you know, but my original idea was it should have been a book anyway. So I am currently working on the book. Uh, <laughs> it's very close to completion, and this song was written for that show. It's called "Lose Random," and it's, it's really for all the people that keep getting knocked down and get back up because I think we need an anthem. And so this is "Lose Random," and thank you to the uh, brilliant mind of Alan Doyle who came up with this riff when I was 19 or so, 18 or 19, and many years later, just a five or six years it ago. reappeared, uh, but anyway, thanks. So this is Lose Random. This is one for all of those that told me no. For all of those fools that said I shouldn't say so. Telling me to slow down when I just want to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't get a tingle up the back of your spine, no regret in the morning. Did you even have a time? You all want a story, but I'm still writing mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I'm getting older, but I don't have to age. Tell my mother I'm still going through a phase. Earning every wrinkle. While it's still beating, listen to your heart. Cause each fall down's another chance to start. Each fall down's another chance to start. Sneaking backstage just to get an autograph. Maybe if you start a bed, you get the last laugh. Hard to hold a candle when you're running in the rain. Whoa, 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 Alan wrote the, wrote most of the music. Does it co-write? <laughs> I 
should put him down. I know where, I know where you're going. I with should it. put him down as a co-writer on that, shouldn't I? Because the, uh, the fives and fives of uh, dollars that we're making from that is uh, I dozens should of some, dollars. I should send some of that. Listen, down. Um, our guest is in the studio. Yes, uh, we're going to bring in Evelyn. Room, so let's put a song on. Absolutely. So let's do uh, let's do a song off the new Navigator CD. Yes. I'm so glad the boys are back in town. The tour is over. I know it was very very successful. So glad to have the boys back in town uh, and playing the regular gigs. Um, of course, they're at the George Street Festival. They're at, um, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on this summer. And so we're just really, really happy to have them back in town. And so this is Josh's, one of Josh's favorite tunes off the new album, The Streams of Whiskey by the Navigators. Fantastic. Jason's coming in to play. Jason's going to join us one of these days and play a harmonica for us and do some uh, backing vocals, aren't you, Jace? I know. So let's get that one. Okay, good. You okay with that? Three minutes of the right. song. Should I move over to the other side? Yeah. Yeah? And set up the phone. And... Yeah. yeah. Put your guitar somewhere safe. I am going. I am going. Where streams of whiskey are flowing. I'm going. Hello! Hey, Evelyn's buddy. here! Look who's here! My buddy. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Oh my god, look at this little gift bag! Can you get squeezed? Come here! Oh! It's so tiny! Oh, I love it. We so, have hello, some, hello, hello. We have some water in there if you need some. Uh, we just have to oh. keep it over there. Just don't worry about it. Oh, yes, yes. We'll spill it on stuff. All right. See us following the rules in the studio? Oh, Aren't we ooh, awesome? Ooh, what's we live here? We are Facebook Live, yeah. Very nice. We're just doing a, we got a Navigator's tune playing there now to fill the time, and then I'm going to show you some stuff. Ooh, all right. How's it going, man? Man, it's fantastic. How are you? Good. Let's make sure we got a shot with us actually both in it. Yeah, all right. There we go. Alrighty, how's that, Josh? You can it's great. Out. I got the whole area over here to myself. So <laughs> roomy and spacious. I think we just hit a record number of viewers on the Facebook Live. Ooh. I'm gonna credit that to you because I'm getting emails this week saying, "Oh, I love Evelyn Jess." Uh, who wait, doesn't? Yes. Who oh, doesn't? Right? God, love so I know there's a lot of people, and I, my parents are listening tonight. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I heard. I heard Josh. I was getting a shower, and I heard Josh downstairs on the phone telling my dad navigating helping dad navigate the internet which he's on all the time he really is like he's active on youtube and he's on facebook and all that stuff and i heard him giving the i'm website. a part-time in-law it person <laughs> he is the guy they call so. for it problems so they um so yeah i heard josh giving him the website and i was like what are you doing <laughs> i know my parents could be listening at any time but up until now up until now I, I didn't know for sure and here we are Ooh. so we're going to do a little fun experiment should we do it how, how much time do we got uh, we've got 45 seconds, but I can do PSAs after this if you want. No, I mean for the Facebook Live, I do for him. Okay, we'll wait till... we got 45 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna... Evelyn, so you have yes. a new CD out. I have a are debut you, album. Are you, is it your debut it's album? My I assume you've had three or four. Uh, that's what everybody keeps telling me, so <laughs> I guess I'm doing a really good job. Good marketing. Seriously, <laughs> fantastic. How much is your CD? How much are you selling it for? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Can I buy a CD from you, Evelyn? Oh my goodness. Because I love and support what you do, and uh, I would like to buy a CD. So I'm going to take some cash, and I'm going to take the CD from your hands. You pass me that, oh. and I'm going to give you money. How about that? Oh, okay. All right. This is a little okay. tutorial. All we right. Like to do so this, we'll consider this the gift. This is then. the exchange. This is how the economy works. You make something, you put your heart and soul into it for the low, low price of $20. 20 bones. Now I'm the proud owner. Evelyn Jess, Bare Bones, debut CD. I'm shocked that you didn't put out. I'm seriously shocked because I feel like you've been playing for a really long time. Uh, so well, 10 seconds, I'm just going to read a PSA. Okay. We'll, do, we'll, <laughs> we'll let Josh read his PSA. This is beautiful. <gasps> oh, and this is for you. Spring 2023 oh. marks our 10th record fair NL event, featuring Guess over 50 it. tables with tens of thousands of LPs, CDs, cassettes, and memorabilia. We'll also have social and kids areas, food, drink, and more. Record Fair NL is one of the largest and best events of its kind in Atlantic Canada. Our vendors offer a wide array of titles exclusive to the event and something for every music lover and collector. 
Join us in celebrating five years of Record Fair NL at our biggest and best event yet. See you there, Sunday, May 28th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., St. John's Farmer's Market, 245 Freshwater Road, St. John's. Admission is $2 or free for children 12 and under. For more info, email recordfairnl at gmail.com. Okay, 15 seconds and then we're back. Okay, make sure Josh is on the air. Turn on your mic. Hmm? Make sure your mic is on. You're going to be talking to us too, right? No, I'll, I'll leave it. Okay. 10 seconds. Okay. That was Streams of Whiskey from the Navigators. You are listening to the Mulberry Creek Hour. I'm Vicki Morgan with Josh Morgan. Josh, say hey. Hello. That's all he's allowed to say. And we're joined in the studio by one of my really, really, really best buds, uh, Evelyn Jess. I just love, love Evelyn Jess. And Josh, I'm just going to show you this. Evelyn just passed me a little bag of goodies there. You Ooh, see what this is? We is got that tickets so the much, album release? We got so much fun stuff to talk about. Yay. Evelyn Jess, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure. Pleasure oh to God. be here. You're so amazing. I cannot believe. So Evelyn Jess just put out her very first debut album. I'm shocked to hear that it's her first album because I assumed you seem like, even though you look like you're about 19, it feels like you're weathered, like you've been around for a really long time. It's just part of the fabric. And maybe because we saw you when we first moved back to Newfoundland. And I think you are one of the first couples that I met, like within the music industry and community and stuff. Oh, no so way. yeah, so we go back, like we do go way back, back yes. to the beginning. And you know what? The first time I saw you play was at a book release from Jody Thornbury. Uh, she wrote uh, Tales from the Funny Farm, which is available on Amazon, and I'm going to put a link to that in the uh, in the show notes later. Uh, but you played, and you had the tiniest little guitar, <laughs> and the sound that came out of that thing was. I remember phenomenal. going home from that. It was like I gotta figure out what kind of guitar that was. Oh my god! You, you wanted you wanted some some more information. Well, because it. I've been putting my shoulder out of location for so many years. I've had a guitar. I started playing and got my first guitar when I was nine years old, and it was a full size guitar because my dad, um, I mean, sorry, Santa. Uh, <laughs> said to my mother, uh, a full size guitar is going to have a better sound, and she should learn how to play on a set on a guitar that has a proper sound. Instead but that of, was way back in the nineties. Well, when there was like toy guitars that sound. No, I was a kid in the seventies. But thank you, <laughs> thank you. But it was it was very important to get a good sounding guitar, which I definitely appreciated, and I learned on a proper a proper size guitar, and you get the you know proper resonance and all that. But Evelyn Jess's guitar had the sound. It had this it amazing sound in this little tiny mini Taylor body and it was phenomenal and I was like you can get a small guitar like girls can get guitars <laughs> that fit their body and so we ran off and we didn't get one turned until the pandemic but we do play mini Taylor and there was a show we did down at O'Reilly's a few years ago we had all the women with the little guitars we had yeah. Rachel Cousins uh Claire Follett Evelyn Jess and of course myself we it was all the women with the little tiny guitar party. Oh, tiny guitar party. It was amazing. Evelyn, tell us what's been going on. And of course, you're not Evelyn, you're Jess. I'm Jess. I'm Jess, yeah. So for people that don't know, um, I'm named after my grandmother, yeah. and my grandmother was named Evelyn. So my parents named me Jessica Evelyn. So when I was thinking of a stage name to take on, you know, starting my career, I just switched the names around one day, and I was like, Evelyn Jess. That's I was beautiful. like, oh my gosh. I was like, that's actually a really nice ring to it. And my grandmother passed away when I was seven. Oh, wow. And but the impact she had on me, and you know, I always felt her with me throughout my life. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take her name and put it up in lights first as a tribute to her legacy and her oh, memory. Oh, that's so that's sweet. Mm -hmm. I think that's how Mulberry Creek started too. It's pretty similar. Josh grew up with his grandparents down in Mulberry Creek in Illinois, North Carolina, and there's this little creek that runs behind their house. And it actually is the water source for their, it's a, like a mountain. It was built into the side of a mountain. Oh and my gosh, so I love we're that. trying to come up with names for the band. Mulberry Creek seemed like a really nice tribute to, uh, to Josh's grandparents. So that's really yeah. sweet. It's amazing how grandparents can make such an impact, you know. Oh, I tell you. My grandfather died when I was uh, six, and I still, I still see he leaves me dying. Uh, yes, like, uh, well, they're our ancestors, Absolutely. right? So, yeah. And that love, you know, when people, someone loves you that much, it never goes away. That's right. It hangs on. You never forget. Yeah. And I, you know, I actually have a cousin, Susan, who thinks that she's the favorite. And she very well may have been, but I never felt that way with my grandfather because he would call both of us. I mean, phone calls when, in, back in the early 80s, right, from your grandparents. That was and it was like, I thought, I thought, so I thought the sun and moon set in my own bush. With my grandfather, because he really made me feel so special, and I yeah. just never, ever forgot him, even though he passed away when I was very young. Yeah. Um, but they do have an impact, right? It, yeah, that, nice that, that, that impact was always there, yeah. And my family, like when my dad uh, built the house, our family home, he built it next to my grandparents' house. Oh. So I grew up with them, you know, living in the yard next to me, so... 
Wow. Yeah. I grew up next to my grandparents too. Cool. We were oh, very there. strong family Isn't connections that here. That is really funny how the impact that people have for such a long time afterwards, right? So, so tell me what went into this CD. How does it feel to have an actual product? Oh that you, my god. Because it's all so much just this. What's the word? Nebulous. You know, when you're playing and you're writing songs, and you know, it's a nebulous. But when you actually have a, a thing that you created, how does that feel? Um, to be honest, it doesn't feel real. <laughs> like when I got it, and I was like, um, "Yes, like who did it, this? It, 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 who CD is this?" Exactly. Right? It, that's it's like imposter syndrome. Oh, big like time. major. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know, we know really. that. <laughs> yeah, you've released your uh, your album recently. Do you ever sing any of your own? Like, do you ever have like a moment where you're walking about your day and something will happen and you'll go, oh, "I wish I could turn a song on right now." Do you ever have any of your own songs go through your head? Hmm. Yeah, sometimes. Well, like, I write oh, saucy yeah. stuff, so maybe that's a little bit, you know. <laughs> but every now and then, like, Josh has a story about, um, who's the guy? Uh, Bambino. Childish Bambino. Oh, oh. Um, Danny, you know Danny, Danny, Danny Glover. Yeah. yeah. Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> Bambino. Bambino. That's the same. Anyway, that's all the same. Josh has a story about that guy. Well, he he said, he, uh, it was I think just in one of his stand-up specials, he said he was on a date, and he picked up a girl, and they got in their car, and he got in his car, and his album was playing. And she was like, who is this? He's like, oh, it's me. She's like, you listen to your own music? He's like, yeah, I like it. That's why I make it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. Like, so, he, you know, just being happy with your own creation and, you know. So have you listened to your own CDs? I have yeah. uh, many times, yeah, and, <laughs> nice. and uh, not just during the production, right? No, not just during, like it's in my no, car no. right now, <laughs> spinning. Like because it's not just me on this album. Absolutely. There's so many yeah. other like team members, yeah. and um, and you know, watching my songs come to life in the studio with artists and side musicians that I admire, and you know, them just breathing their energy and their life into every different song. It just it made it seem a new song every time around. Yeah. Every time somebody else's, you know, overdub went down, it was like, oh my gosh, it's it's even better now. So the philosophy of making this record was that we just got people that we love to play with, mm -hmm. people that we love their styles, their sound, what they were all about. Carol Bestfather, for example, did all the violin tracks on that and. You know, seeing Carol play, I mean, oh, I'm sure a lot of people know who Carol Bestwater is yeah. in the city. And so I knew, I just knew that Carol had to be a part of this record, along with everyone else that's there. And, you know, when we contacted them and asked them about it, we were like, hey, like, here's the tracks. Just listen to them. Mm -hmm. Get the feel for them. Come in the studio and just lay down and do your thing. Like, we didn't write any parts for them or pigeonhole them. We were just like, do them your go. thing. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing that you can send a track to somebody and they just invent music? That blew my mind. We sent a track out to um, uh, Kendall. Kendall Carson, and I couldn't get my head around it. it. And the price, I would imagine, would be in the thousands and thousands of dollars when somebody rips <laughs> and creates music yeah. on the spot to go with your stuff. And it's like, no, 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 that's not it at all. It's like a session fee. Yeah. It was amazing. Just amazing the process of putting everything together. And I'm, so I'm just looking at the credits in here, and all these names are like, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Kel Sarsino, unbelievable musician. Mm -hmm. Absolutely unbelievable. And it's produced by, of course, our buddy Jordan Young. Oh, yes. Yes. I did not know Jordan was a producer. Hmm. Oh, yes. But I know he's a massive supporter of Evelyn Jess. He's a big fan. Yeah, and a big, you know, supporter of all the local arts community. He's, Absolutely. He's been uh, playing in bands and involved in the industry for, I think, up to, like, 30 years Ever or something so. now. Yeah. yeah. So he, when, is he, when he was an infant, he started that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but uh, Jordan's fantastic. And the list of musicians, Carol, I remember speaking with uh, Eamon McGraw. Um, was here last summer or the summer before and he has Carol join him and he, they don't even rehearse. He said she just instinctively knows <laughs> yeah. where the music's going to go and he has no fear whatsoever. Um, there's a little mini documentary made with Eamon about that exact thing that she just knows where to go. She's um, a brilliant musician. Well, that, that was the thing. Like I contacted Carol back in, I think it was March, and I was like, hey, I'm planning the show. You know, what's your rehearsals like coming up? And Carol was like, actually, because once again, most busiest fiddler in St. John's, she was like, you know, I've got all this stuff planned. I'm going to be in the States for such and such. Like, unfortunately, I don't have any time for a rehearsal until like the week leading up to the show. And I was like, <clears throat> she'll be fine. I okay. was like, that's more than enough time. Carol. Yes. I was yeah. like, that's thousands of time. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. And I see also you have Roz McPhail on here as well. And Roz does, uh, she's a flautist. 
Well, but she's also a keynote speaker. So when you hire Roz, you can hire Roz for corporate events, and she'll she's a keynote speaker. She's an inspirational like a coach, and uh, also coach, yeah. really <coughs> So it's amazing. Like all these people that have and Sandy Moore is a god. I mean, what a be- beautiful, absolutely beautiful human being who's been around since time began. I know he's played on <laughs> most everybody's albums. I think yeah, he's fantastic. And just a sweet guy. And I mean, I grew up, of course, like with my parents watching Land and Sea and just oh, yeah. that jingle. Just being in, that lives in my head rent free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sandy Morse, of course, is a composer for most for a very, very big, large chunk of CBC stuff, and uh, brilliant composer. Who would have ever known? Because he's also he played with Ron Hines for many, many years. Played with WGB, and he's gorgeous. Also, like he's just the coolest guitar, just the coolest guitarist ever. Like he just embodies cool rock star guy. I think. Anyway, so Evelyn, tell us about you. Also have a CD release coming up now. I have not had the courage, so maybe you can coach me here, I have not had the courage to book a CD release. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Okay. Um, we wanted to do a family-friendly place, and most of the places that are so gracious and will have us are bars, and we haven't been mm. able to have a place where we can have our kids come as and join us, and also, I'm afraid nobody will show up, honestly. Um, you know what? I'm not one for playing in bars either. Mm. I mean, I don't drink. It's not my scene, um, you know. More all ages, family friendly, afternoon type stuff. You yep. know, that's my speed. Yep. Like, you know, you're there to interact with people. You can tell your stories. People are listening. You know, it's it's just a different feel and you feel so much more appreciated. So that's why I love this new venue that Music and Elle has started. Music and Elle has taken over the Gower Street United Church and they rent out. So there's a bunch of different rooms there, community rooms and rehearsal rooms. And there's also a performance space, which used to be a church. And of course, the acoustics in the church is, you know, you got to give them credit. The music is phenomenal in churches. <laughs> and, it really is. And for those that don't know, there's also a little side performance space that's attached onto that, the lecture hall. Yep. That's and cool. that can be rented out as well with... Yep the lower capacity. And the sound people that are involved. Who do you have doing your sound down there? That I've got Matt Dines. Oh my oh, God. He's this. He's amazing. We've done, a, I think we've done two shows At with him. Two. Where with it's the, just with like, multicultural. It's just yeah. a, such a breath of fresh air to have like sound that it, you know is awesome. You can hear yourself. Everybody else can hear you. It's like, I just, Put it into Matt's hands. And can We've had limited it. experience to be like we also had Dan Brigage down at um, yeah. like Jared Waterman yeah, was, was a few weeks ago. He's also fantastic. But being being at, a, Matt, at the market where you we're know you're, you turning know the knob behind us, you know we're, we're tuning our own <laughs> sounds in at the PA behind us while we're playing. Yeah. Well, that's it's brutal. <laughs> and it's a big <laughs> venue too, so I was like, hmm. yeah, Matt's amazing. You know, Matt's also a producer, it. and um, he's uh, got a label now. There's a label. Yes, Hurricane, 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 Hurricane Music. Yeah. yeah. And I believe Rachel Cousins. Do they have Rachel Cousins? Did I see that? Um, I know they have Rosemary. Rosemary. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary. yeah. Just the same initials. Um, uh, yeah, fantastic. Matt is absolutely fantastic. And of course, yeah. a big, big proponent of female performers. Um, mm-hmm. I know he got in a big battle online with the Mount Pearl crowd <laughs> yeah. when they announced their lineup for the Frosty Festival, and he was front and center with, like, why aren't there more women? And that does not mean check a box. It means there's a lot of talented women. That night that we were down at O'Reilly's was like, well, the woman at, women at a rock was a fantastic yeah. idea. It really was yes. solid. And every single week, there was a lineup of uh, really great musicians from the province, and uh, some of them would come in as far as from Springdale and Trinity and uh, Twillingate and lots of places. A lot of real, real great talent. And... Uh, I just feel like you don't you don't need to check boxes. Just book the people. If you just surround yourself with uh, you know people that are fantastic, that feel good. I wouldn't if not for a minute would I say you know do you have somebody in the lineup who's who checks this box? Like just the the feeling, the good feeling, the vibration that you say, the frequency kind of attracts a really great crowd of people, and you can't go wrong I think with that. So so tell us about. I'd like for, if you wouldn't mind, would you play one of the songs for us? Oh, of course. I would love to. What are you going to play for? I would actually love to. Um, I'm going to share a song that I wrote for my partner for Valentine's Day one year. Oh, sweet. And so, this is... Yes, of course. And this is on the new album, of course? It is on the new album, and this track uh, features Sandy Morris on the steel guitar. And what's this one called? It's called Like a Song. Oh, sweet. And this is going to be the new single, the new radio single off of the uh, off of the album. So, uh, so this one will hit, hit in your airwaves soon. <laughs> or today, I'm live. <laughs> or today, time. yes. I'm over Creek, and we're so glad you're here. Take it away. All right, thanks. I want to give you something straight from my heart. These days, I just don't know where to start 
From the flowers to the chocolates, jewelry of gold, I want to give you something special that never will grow old. I don't want to buy you things that'll just sit around, wanting to lift you up. When you're feeling down, I want to give you something like my love that'll last forever long. Like a song. Like a song. Well, now saying that I love you from here to the moon, it isn't even a start for how I feel about you. I could shower you in roses for days and days. All the roses only wither and fade away. I don't want to buy you cards with silly little words, with verses and poems that you've already heard. Give you a piece of my soul that to you. tear to guts out of you. Seriously, <laughs> that was like a song by Evelyn Jess. Uh, that is off her brand new debut album. Of course, we got her live in the studio. Josh, is there a better gig than the host in the Mulberry Creek Hour? I don't know. This is pretty fantastic. You know, it's I like, get, a, I like, a, like a little personal show. It is. I get, I get <laughs> to sit next to these people who are just phenomenal musicians. And this, the, you're in this, like, the acoustics are pretty good in the studio, of course, because it's built for radio. But it's just phenomenal. What a gift. I feel so fortunate to be able to sit next to you you're so brilliant. Oh, and thanks. how lucky is Bridget? I mean, <laughs> seriously. She's a wonderful, wonderful human being as well. But seriously. That Not her own. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm very lucky, of course, oh, to have Bridget as well. That's so sweet. What a beautiful Valentine's. I wrote a song for Josh once. It was called, Thanks for Not Making Me Write a Song About You. <laughs> <laughs> it was a similar sentiment. Because um, I'm more of a, I'm in my angry phase, I guess. My sarcastic, angry 
um, angry woman phase for my music. So maybe one of these days I'll get to that sweet spot of uh, love song. I do have a bunch of them written. We just haven't recorded yet. So uh, I, I wrote those. Uh, yeah, I wrote angsty. those in my in my early writing years. Yeah, I, I, I was filled with a lot of angst as well. So I have some angsty it songs. It lets the feeling out. Really, it does. I mean, I find that I find like something gets a little. You know, when you have a big feeling, and sometimes it's a little too hard to let out uh, writing it down. And sometimes when it comes out in a rhyme. You know, Terry Riley writes, he writes every single day, and he thinks in rhyme. Pages and pages. Pages of, upon pages in lyrics. rhyme. Can you imagine? Wow. I don't know that many words that rhyme with duck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a limited list. What's funny is actually uh, me and Bridget, we used to flag. We, we were tra like the traffic control operators, I guess is what they say. And we used to have these radios. So some days if you get on like a slow street and there wasn't any traffic, you'd just be like, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. day is just dragging. We would get on our radios yeah. and we would be like, words that rhyme with bread. Oh and we would go back and forth and be like, bread, bread, oh. <laughs> dead. <laughs> and we would do that for hours until one of us would run out of words and kind of, and one of us would not be able to think of another word and they'd be like, I win. Oh I my gosh. Like, so you lose. <laughs> You see, that wouldn't work in other relationships. You got to be with a creative person to get why, right. that's, why that would pass the time and be absolutely riveting. And we're trying that on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're ever looking at a game to play in the car or absolutely. something like drives, there you go. Well, Words that rhyme with it helps with the songwriting process. And there's a website right. that you can go to um, as well that I heard about in Sean Painting's class that uh, was a rhyming when you're stuck for a word. And you're pointing at me for some reason. Josh is on the other side of the desk here. We just got, we, we got our next song queued up. That's all. What's our next song? Elizabeth Riley Band. How much time do we have? Oh, we've got about 10 minutes left. Ooh, um, okay, I wanna make sure we get all the stuff in. So the album release, the CD album release, I have to take my glasses off so I can see up close, that's how old I am. Uh, <laughs> and the album release is going on Saturday, May 13th at Garrow Street United Church. Is it all ages? It is all ages. It's an all ages show. Of course it is, yes. Tickets are $25, that includes a CD, and it is featuring the Spectrum Queer Choir and Strong Harbor Strings. Yes, and there will be gorgeous. performances by both. How gorgeous is that? So it's the Evelyn Jess brand new debut album called Bare Bones and is available at Fred's or you can get it from EvelynJess.com. Evelyn, thank you so much for being here and thank you for the gift. Thank you for the CD and thanks for coming in. This oh. was absolutely amazing. Like I'm, I'm having, uh, it's an out of body experience. It really is to be so, to have this gift of this, like be able to bring you guys in, to bring musicians in and talk about the process and talk about this exciting stuff they've got going on. Thank you to all the musicians who made this happen, right? This is like, what a, what a feat yep. of community and creativeness, uh, creativity and creativeness, I just invented a word. <laughs> and, and I should say also that the proceeds from this event is going back into the community and going back uh, as a donation between Spectrum Core Choir and Strong Harbor Strings no for the incredible It doesn't end. Community. It doesn't end. She's just amazing. She's just <laughs> absolutely amazing. So Josh, we're going to throw it to Elizabeth, Elizabeth Riley, Riley and we're going to say bye to Evelyn Jess and say thank you so much for being here. Make sure you check out the new CD. Buy the CD. Go to, is there a download version? Uh, not yet. Is no, it it's only on CD. It's only on CD right now because I'm going to do videos, music videos for every song on the album until all the videos are out and then it's going up on, on your streaming. That Fantastic. is Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So make sure you check those out and of course get to the CD release and uh, support your local artists. And we will. So this is Elizabeth Riley Band. This song is called Sisters, Sisters in Spirit. Spirit. This features my buddy, uh, Carmel Whittle, who is my soul sister. And um, she knows she knows why I'm sending out her big thank you this week. Uh, this is Elizabeth Riley Band, Sisters in Spirit. I keep forgetting that there's a microphone. Like I keep forgetting that there's a radio, that it's a radio show. Okay, we're good. Are we all good? So we're clear? We got everything? Um, we got, this song is going for three and a half minutes. Three and minutes. And okay, perfect. You mugged, um, CD. Thank you. CD? Oh, well, I'll buy one back from you. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> Someone, the reason I'm, I'm just trying to put this energy out into the universe. I'm yeah. not going to tell you the story. I'm not going to tell you the story because it's just, okay, I will tell you. <laughs> you might as well. Oh, no, I'm not because we're still on live. <laughs> We are doing a little exercise here in exchanging creati creations for money because we love each other and this is what you do because it's only 20 bucks. At the end of the day, it's 20 bucks, right? It is. So yours so, are, 20, are yours 20 bucks? Mine are $20. Making? All right. Thank you so much. 20 thank bones. Thank you, Evelyn Jess, so much for supporting <laughs> our work. This is so great. And thank you, Mulberry. Thank great. you so much. Now, I'm going to give this right back to you because thank you very much for this CD. Ah. So there you go. That's how it happens. 
support each other. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Just throwing money around, making things that we love, putting our heart and soul into a little piece of plastic and a little bit of cardboard, and uh, the world. So I'm probably going to take that 20 bucks now and go spend it at, I don't know, one of the markets. Yep, yeah, probably. Probably buy my kids some shoes. I don't know. You know how artists are. You know how we are. So so easy with our money and just supporting the economy when we make money from our art. <laughs> All right. So say bye to Evelyn, everybody, and right. we will. We will be right back. All right. Are we all no, good? You didn't bring anything in except your guitar, did you? I did. You have I did. No, I put everything in. And your mug. So, yeah, mugs, yeah. so okay. if, when you're on the show, you get a mug. Well, we're taking mugs. <laughs> I, I can walk you. Thank you so much for Yes, all right, perfect. Thank you so much. Perfect. Yes, all right, perfect. 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 Oh. We'll see you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Right. yes absolutely. Side of the desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a mic. Mm -hmm. How much time have we got? Minute 24. All right, we're all good. Why are all these keyboards? Do I need this? I don't know what all this is. Can you switch over a little bit? I can. What do you need? So Welcome how back, awesome is she? So we'll put some links into um, we'll put some links to the things that we mentioned, and of course we do have at the end of the show. I'm going to ask you a question, and you'll have an opportunity to get a free album from Mulberry Creek if you haven't already got one. You can have another one. I don't know. You want to? I don't know. You can. Anybody can enter. So what we're going to do is you're going to go social media, go to Mulberry Creek on Facebook or Instagram. Or on TikTok, it's mulberry.creek.music. And we're going to ask you a question at the very end of the show. And then you send the answer in. That's all. Just engage with us on social media and answer the... It's not a skill testing question. It's really... Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. But I'm formulating the question as time is going on. Uh, Jason was listening earlier today. I don't know if you remember me telling you about mm -hmm. Jason, yep. but I love him. We got some great... Uh, and Gary. Hey to Gary. I hope you're safe, buddy. Out on the bobbing around on the... On the uh, Bibbin and bobbing. All right, 15 seconds. Yeah, 15 we're seconds, then we're back. <clears throat> How much time do we have? Oh, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, one more fading out. That was the Elizabeth Riley Band featuring Newfoundlander Carmel Whittle, and it is called Sisters in Spirit. What's and it called? I know, I know CFAs are people that live here that aren't from here. What's it called when you are from here and you live somewhere else? Is there, is there a word for ex Yeah, there you go. Expats, I think. I don't know. Patriot seems like a negative word, but I don't know. What else? Does anyone know? Chime in. Let yeah. us know. What's, What's it what called when you were born here and you, you live somewhere else? You're a, not a CFA. You're the opposite of a CFA. You're a go to. If, well, go it, to does away. it come from a way you went? Go to away. I don't know. GTA. I don't know what to call that. Uh, <laughs> missing home, probably. I say it's what we, oh, it's what I would have called me when I was living away, and uh, happy to be back. So we did have a big pile of salt beef uh, in our stew the other day, and Carmel was, I think, a little jealous. <laughs> that we were having a big pot of salt beef we're for gonna get her, We're going to get her some salt beef really soon. Uh, or we're <laughs> either going to go up to Ontario or she's going to come down for a visit soon. But aren't you my caramel? We're thinking about you. Um, so this is the Mulberry Creek Hour. You're listening to CHMR. Uh, we're broadcasting from Newfoundland. And uh, thanks to everybody who's listening. I know we've got people listening in Tennessee and Maine and New Brunswick and uh, all points south. And all west over and the east. place. All over the place. Very so it's fantastic. Baby. And of course, we've got people listening from the Cove. Hello, Michelle. Uh, so I got one more song that I'm going to do. This is not on the new album. It's um, going to be on the next new album. Well, stick around, and I'm going to tell you what the question is that we want you to answer when you get in touch with us on socials for an opportunity for a free CD. Mm -hmm. This is called, uh, this is about a boy on a boat. Um, this is called, I call this one, I Thought You Liked Me. Josh calls it, that's all, and went ahead and made shorts with that's all on it, so I guess <laughs> that's the name of the song. This is about a boy on a boat. I thought you liked me. That's all. No hard feelings, no regrets, no mistakes, and no dead pets. I thought you liked me. That's all. I thought you liked me. That's all. Dress was pretty, liked my hair, hit the nose, wished you were there. I thought you liked me. That's all. I thought you liked me. 
like to eat. That's all. You're on shore each day as hers. Family man who does the chores. I thought you liked me. That's all. I thought you liked me. That's all. Loved you back and made some plans. Lost my way, I'm not your stand. I thought you liked me. That's all. You've got your life and I've got mine. In five weeks' time, my time to shine. Talk to you then. I can love you then. I can wait till then. I thought you liked me. That's all. Your heart ain't much at all, even less if I have to crawl. I thought you liked me, that's all. I thought you liked me, I thought you liked me, I thought you liked me, I thought you liked me. <sighs> so that's called, that one's called That's All. Or, I thought you liked me. And so here is the big finish. The skill testing opportunity question here we go. is this. So you're going to go to our social media. You're going to go to Mulberry Creek on Facebook. You're going to go to Mulberry Creek on Instagram or mulberry.creek.music on TikTok. And here is the question that will make you eligible to get a free CD. And it's, do you want a Mulberry Creek CD? That's your question. See if you can answer that. So correctly. get in touch with us. Send us a message on any of the socials. Thank you for listening to CHMR and to Mulberry Creek. We will be here again every single Tuesday as long as our ID card works. And we're I'm sure it's going to be fine next <laughs> we're gonna week. We're going to get in next week. Thank you to Nadia in the Mon uh, Memorial University Bookstore who went above and beyond today. And Rhea who uh, got us into the building. <laughs> Answered the phone. It was fantastic. It was all like everybody worked together and pulled together. And it was no big deal. We were here. We were still here before the show started. So it was great. And we really love coming in. So... Um, we really enjoy making uh, making a show every single week. And thank you, of course, to Evelyn Jess. Make sure you get out to the CD release party uh, this weekend. It's on May 13th. It's family-friendly, and it's going to be spectacular. She's got choirs. She's got full band. It's going to be absolutely spectacular, and we're looking forward to that. Thank you, Evelyn, for coming in and hanging out. Jess. I call her Jess. So <laughs> she's Well, you can call her Evelyn Jess. You can call her Ms. Evelyn Jess, madam. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you get the CD. Uh, go up and have a chat with her after the show. Uh, get the CD signed. Tell her how amazing she is. Because, you know, artists really, really enjoy that kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, and she's a wonderful, wonderful human being. So congratulations on the very first album. And uh, thank you for listening to the Mulberry Creek Hour. I'm Vicki Morgan. I'm Josh Morgan. We'll see you next Tuesday. We're out. Everything. Yeah. I think that's everything. Thank you, everybody, for <laughs> <laughs> This was amazing. We had record numbers this week. I don't know if you know that. The record. numbers were pretty high. So I know a lot of them were here to see Evelyn, uh, Evelyn Jess, and we also appreciate the people who watch every single week and, um, you know, give us a reason to get out of bed because, you know, it's the artist's life, right? We're hippy-dippy. So uh, thanks for listening. Stay safe, and we will see everybody next Tuesday. And make sure you get in touch with us on social media and let us know um, to qualify for an opportunity to have a free CD. The question is, do you want a Mulberry Creek CD? Easy peasy. Just as easy as that. Okay, see you next Tuesday.